In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for HNO3 plus Na2CO3. This is nitric acid and this is sodium carbonate. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. We can do that by putting a coefficient of 2 in front of the nitric acid and then 2 in front of the sodium nitrate. Once we have the molecular equation balanced, we write the states for each of these substances. So Nitric acid is a strong acid. That's going to dissociate when we put it in water, break apart into its ions. Sodium carbonate, sodium compounds, very soluble. So that should also break apart, be aqueous. Sodium nitrate, nitrates are very soluble. And again, sodium compounds, very soluble. So that would be aqueous. Water is a liquid. And then carbon dioxide, that's a gas. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This is going to be the complete ionic equation, and sometimes called the total ionic equation. Hydrogen that's in group 1 on the periodic table, it has a positive charge. And this NO3, this nitrate ion, that's always a 1 minus. So we have two of the hydrogen ions. And I'll wait to write aqueous at the end of all of this. Plus, this 2, it applies to everything. So we have two nitrate ions as well. Sodium's in group 1, so it has a 1 plus charge. Carbonate ion is always 2 minus. That's a great one to remember. So we have Na plus the sodium ion. And the subscript 2, that means there's two sodium atoms. So we're going to put a coefficient of 2 in front of the sodium ion. For the carbonate, we just have one of those. So these are the reactants. For the products, we have sodium's plus 1, 1 minus for the nitrate. So we have two sodium ions plus two nitrate ions. We don't split liquids, gases, or solids apart in the net ionic equations. So we have water, H2O, plus that carbon dioxide, CO2. So these are the products. So we have our reactants and our products. This is the total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. These are on both sides of the equation. Effectively, they didn't change, so we're just going to ignore them. We have two nitrate ions here in the reactants and two in the products. We'll cross those out. Two sodium ions here and then in the products too. We can cross those out. Everything else is unique. So now when we look at the net ionic equation, we have 2H plus plus the carbonate ion and we get water and carbon dioxide. So let me delete all this, clean it up, and I'll add the states in. Then we'll have a nicely formatted net ionic equation for HNO3 plus Na2CO3. And this is the net ionic equation for nitric acid plus sodium carbonate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.